When we drafted Volpe, the reviews from amateur scouting were very exciting. Damon and company you know, just spoke incredibly highly of his athleticism, his leadership on the field. The work ethic is unrivaled by most of his peers. There really weren't any downs on the defensive side. You don't win the gold glove at shortstop in the American League without being you know, a level of consistency, but also making the tremendous play. Beyond that, we try to provide settings where we made hard on. You know, he does routines without gloves. We put him on the run a lot. We put him the 4-0 runner or 3-8 runner and, and ask him to get that ball out to be able to convert it out on the fastest runner in the big leagues. But really, when you take a player in a shortstop of Volpe's caliber and you maximize the range and help him get to more balls, you really unlock a special player. I just want to make the main thing the main thing, and that's those routine plays and being the type of defender that your team wants the ball hits you and the other team might as well be running back to the dugout as soon as they hit its short zone. Even after winning a gold glove, he came in and his first questions were, you know, what can I do to continue to improve? And I think that speaks to his hunger and his desire to continue to help our team. The motor he plays with, the ability to play the game at top speed at that position, is the thing that really stands out about him to me. We know to be a big league shortstop and an above average big league shortstop, you have to dominate the routine play. And Anthony did that last year. We know the thing that separates the best shortstops from the rest of the shortstops in your league is the ability to make the difficult play as well, which is where he separated himself last year. So organizationally, it comes down to, can we make the plays we're supposed to make? And can we be in position to make the plays that others can't make? I never wanted to like really know the like velo I threw the ball, but I wanted to see how quick it was hit off the bat and how quick I can get it over the first base. And that like bat to first base when the glove time was really important to me. And I think to be able to get good at that, you have to attack the ball, get a good hop, set your feet up, and then get a good throw in the chest. We really just wanted to expose Volpe to you know the types of batted balls that he's going to see in the game with. You know, the pitch packages and profiles and usages trending in certain directions, we really wanted to make sure that he was prepared for, for balls that you can't really replicate in the traditional defensive training sessions. So whether that was, you know, using machines or using different ways to recreate ball flight that's, you know, a little bit more on a line that forces him to make tougher decisions, we really wanted to expose him to the difficult plays that he's going to see at 7 o'clock in New York. His development over the years, like, it's been very fun to watch and you know, seeing him get bigger, faster, stronger and, and you know, more fluid with the glove. It's just really cool to see. What I'm looking forward to seeing is how he continues to make adjustments. This league is great at exploiting things and making adjustments and developing scouting reports on how to attack you. Anthony is really meticulous with his preparation and one thing that him and Chappie will communicate in advance, pre-game or pre-series is run speed and positioning and you know types of balls that he can anticipate certain hitters providing him. You know, he really works hard and strives and, and, and really flourishes in those difficult situations and uh, you know, throughout the years, he's found ways to make plays. So he's really aware of just what he might see throughout the game. So not only is he preparing for the, those moments in his training, he's also just visualizing and anticipating those moments leading up to the game as well. And, now, one thing that Wolfie does really well is take ownership over the rest of the infield and he's in constant communication with the guys to his right and left and they've really established you know, a strong ability to communicate in game so that they can feed off of each other, they can be aware of, of what pitchers are trying to do in certain situations and do so in a way that helps us collect more outs and ultimately prevent more runs. I think just knowing each guy's range and we were lucky we had a lot of guys with incredible range so you can give everybody their space and we want to take pride in being able to even if you don't make the play keep the ball in the infield stuff like that and I think in a lot of ways range is where you can separate yourself and there's a lot of emphasis on that and in a lot of our work that's what we worked on so it's cool to see a translate to the game. I think he's going to be an all-star caliber player throughout his career when he becomes that all-star remains to be seen but like I said, we were we were betting on the makeup. We believed in the person and believed he was totally equipped to handle uh, the pressures, the inevitable ups and downs of being a Yankee shortstop, and, and he, he certainly did.